That breaking news, I-5 northbound in Everett is still closed after a trooper shot and killed a man on the freeway. Thanks for being here at 9 o'clock. I'm Steve Solis. And I'm Madison Wade. It has been a chaotic scene all afternoon for drivers. The freeway has been closed nearly four hours tonight. King Vice Cornelius Hawker is live in Everett now, where Cornelius, we just got new details. Yeah, we learned that this started as road rage around four today. Investigators say a man rammed into washout vehicles on the shoulder, and then they say that man was armed with a hammer and he got into a fight with washout employees and a state trooper. That's whenever investigators say that state trooper shot and killed him. Now, as you can see, this has caused bumper to bumper traffic for hours at this point. Now, most of these people are trying to head north, and the only way to do that is to drive through Everett. So some people have decided to wait it out all this traffic. We talked to some folks at a local bar and two of those guys say they witnessed what happened before the shooting. I was going on I-5 I five South picking up my coworker here from the Penske Rental shop and I noticed Save Patrol and an individual running down the freeway. So I stopped a little bit and I saw and then I saw the, the patrolman try to give him a headlock. The suspect gets out of it. And then I saw the officer just pull his gun. Investigators tell us that a washout employee was hurt, but is expected to be OK. And I-5 is going to be closed until they finish their investigation. And washout says right now they don't know when they're going to open up the freeway. And so we will keep you updated whenever we learn any more information. Live and Everett, Cornelius Hawker, King 5 News.